I saw her and I was like, I like her. I like her, but I ain't no homewrecker. I ain't one of them girls, honey. <laughs> it's not that serious. You can't fuck with that bitch, cause you broke. She a boss. Yeah. You a broke boy and she can't take a loss, so she leaving with me. Hey everybody, it's Paige from Paige's Day Off. I know I look crazy, but guys, my TV so dang old. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm back. So, of course, that's my seat making all the noise. And anyway, y'all. Uh, so today I am doing a. My hair is cut off. Today, I am doing a seafood boil. So, sorry y'all, I just feel like I look a little dead or something. But um, anyway, I have some snow crab, mussels, corn, potatoes, rice, and just a garlic butter sauce. much better okay all right oh yeah this is much better okay so i have all this stuff right here so your girl is hungry so i'm about to eat first and then i'll tell you guys my coming out story <laughs> which is going to be what are you doing anyway which might be a little bit Funny, funny, or whatever. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I... I probably just had cut this on the bed, but let me put this under my face. Hot. I don't have nothing to drink, y'all. I put a lot of garlic and onions in here. Hot. so good. My wife's gonna be so happy. I got her a whole plate right back there. Mm -hmm. This is my first meal of the day. My dog is mad because I'm not in her face. Girl. I'm about to insert this <laughs> clip of her crying because Sydney got out the car. Girl, it's not that serious. <laughs> you 
so goofy. <laughs> And ain't nothing wrong with her. She just spoiled as hell. That's all it is. Ain't nothing wrong. She just spoiled. I got these things on crabs. I don't think these are going to be good. I got these from a little grocery store. Out here. I'm just going to buy the king crab next time. Yeah, I'm just let it fix. But my dog got so big, she is a trip. Yeah, I don't know about these ones, guys. I've been outside for a while. Roddy Rich new album just be having me hype, having me hype in the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks ugly. It looked ugly, so I don't want y'all went in her crate. Oh, yeah, honey. Hot. Mm. I love food so much. So dang on. So much. Mm-hmm. It's going down. Mm -mm -mm. Knees up, baby. Oh, piece of mustache. some shrimp oh my wife gonna be so happy she gonna be like oh my god mm, mm, mm. I gotta make sure some of them didn't have most of them didn't have a little boo-boo vein in it, but a lot of them did, and I ain't with none of that. I don't play none of those games. This is fat or what, but honey, oh, all this thing. Mm -hmm. I literally just learned how to make rice a month ago. One month ago, and I'm 27. I was always buying the instant rice I'm in the bag. 
But now, baby, you can't tell me nothing. I got it down now. She makes rice. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, my wife is the first actual girlfriend I ever had. Like, official girlfriend. The first one. So, before my wife, I dated women. Really, it really wasn't no date. I just was, yeah, I guess you could say I, I dated women or whatever. Because I was always attracted to women, but I never thought I could see myself with a woman. Like, as far as, like, marriage and stuff goes. But... I met my wife. How old am I? 27. I met my wife. Eight years ago. Now let me tell y'all. She don't even remember meeting me. Okay. And. Right. Because now. But anyway. I met her through my best friend from elementary school. She, um, I came home from, what kind of break was it? It was, I was in college and I was on winter break. No, it was the summertime, duh, Paige. I was home for the summer. And I think it was like 4th of July or something like, something was going on in the summertime. And she invited me to come out with her, with her. And her cousins to um just walk around downtown and drink even though i wasn't able to drink or whatever just walk around downtown and kick it and we actually good friends so of course i was gonna go and hang out with her so i always knew well i ain't gonna say it, it was then when i actually first met sydney i met sydney and she had a girlfriend at the time she had a dang on girlfriend and whatever. I mean, I didn't know if I was really into girls like that anyway, but I saw her and I was like, I like her. I like her, but I ain't no homewrecker. I ain't one of them girls, honey. It's not that serious. I just, I met her that night and she was cool. We was all kicking it. It wasn't nothing like that. We just was all kicking it and drinking and stuff like that. So... I went home or whatever, and then she had posted some pictures. She had started posting pictures of her that I started seeing on Instagram and stuff. You know, just family pictures and stuff. And I was like, this girl better not ever become single, honey. Because if she ever becomes single, that's going to be my girlfriend, honey. <laughs> She's going to be mine, and we're going to go get married. That's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. So, like, five years passed. No, no. Like, a couple of years passed or whatever. And I was already out of school. I was actually living in Ohio, transitioning to move back to Chicago. And I had, I guess her cousin had made a... Her cousin made an Instagram page for her. And baby, I don't know how, but I saw that. Oh, no. Her cousins is all saying, like, go follow my cousin on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. So what I do? I go follow the girl on Instagram. And she didn't have no girlfriend no more, which I was like, girl, because we just going to be together forever. You don't even need her. But... She was single, so I started liking her pictures. Flew through that page. I was just flying. What picture you got, girl? Liking it. Love it. Hearting it. Everything. So, I, um, one day, she had reached, well, he reached out to me because he was running her Instagram page, trying to get her some girls or whatever, which is cool. I understand. Because she had just broke up with her ex-girlfriend, like, a couple months before that. And... I um 
they wrote me back or whatever and I sent he was like let me get the phone number thinking it's my wife future wife or whatever he was like let me get the phone number so I could call and I sent my phone number so I'm thinking this girl gonna text me I'm like of course he gonna I mean of course she gonna call me I mean reach out to me or whatever but I thought she's gonna be a normal person and text and say hey is this such and such Honey, she called the phone on FaceTime. I'm just getting off work looking crazy. And she said she called me because she wanted to make sure I wasn't no catfish. <laughs> make sure, basically make sure I wasn't ugly. Okay. And which was cool. Now, mind you, all this time, I never told anybody like, like, my mama never knew I liked girls. Nobody knew that. Except for, like, my best friend knew that I dated a couple girls or whatever. And, like, a couple other people. But I wasn't like, hey, guys, I'm bisexual. You know, something like that. Because bisexual is what I was doing before. You know, I was dating men and I was dating women. But, honey... I wasn't telling everybody. Paige is solely loving the women, honey. She don't like nobody else but the women. So me and Sydney started dating. We was dating and we was talking for a long time. Well, no, we actually wasn't. She, <laughs> we, she got my phone number in like February or something. My birthday was in March, so I was supposed to see her on my birthday, but I ended up getting too drunk. So. I ended up getting up with her a couple days after. So, still nobody knows your girl likes the women, honey. Because I wasn't telling my mom. Because my mom is, um, my mom likes women too. So, when she first told me I was so young and I didn't understand anything about it. And I was mad that she was gay. <laughs> but now look at me, that's, that's the karma. But... Um, I'm so glad. Mm -hmm. But she, um, so I hang out with her one day. And y'all, I got a kiss. I basically forced her to kiss me, which I don't even know why I did because I'm not even that. My elbow ashy. I'm not even that kind of girl, in all honesty. I don't really don't be thirsty or nothing like that. But for some reason, I was like, I don't like this girl. She don't even know me. So we get up one day and y'all, I just was looking at her like, you are so fat. You are so fat. So we end up doing a little bit of, Doing a little bit of dating. And I basically told the baby, we is together. So, how I told my peoples and stuff was, my mom <laughs> knows me very, very well and stuff. So, I, was, I came back home and I was living with my mama, like, five over five years ago. And And she would, like... Asked me, like, where you going? Y'all, I kept on calling Sydney. I called Sydney he for like, told her, kept telling my mom, I'm going over to this boy house. <laughs> and it was a he. I mean, it was a she. And one day, my mom had to pick something up for me, and Sydney was with me. And she, um, Sydney, of course, is not a feminine woman woman you know so she ain't she don't look like me she pretty so fine but she don't look like me she ain't dressing up and stuff like that so like a girl you know what the hell i'm trying to say shoot um so my mom would take one look at her and i, I guess from then she already knew what i was doing <laughs> so that night i still didn't come home <laughs> My mama gonna call me and say, you can stop calling her a he now. <laughs> she was like, I knew it was a girl this whole time. I'm like, oh my God. Huh? 
honey, at the moment, Mama, now? I was like, I'm coming up. Do, do. I want the world to know. Do, do. What it show. Mm -mm. Baby, that was me. You couldn't tell me nothing. Not a dang on thing. I came out. I was on Facebook with it. I love woman. I love city. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just playing. I ain't do all that. But after that, I didn't care. We started moving fast. I told her, baby, we was going to be together forever. Me and you. So once my mama knew what the tea was, I didn't care. Who else knew? Honey, I don't care. I still don't care. At all. And my wife had a different coming out story. Hers is a lot different, but. I've just always been the type of person that did my own thing and never really cared about what any anybody thought. Not even a little bit. Which was bad and good. Because when your girl don't care, she really don't be caring. So, that happened or whatever. And... After that, me and Sydney just been together since. And the whole world has known it's been. I've lost friends. Baby, I've done lost friends, family. And guess who still don't care? Me. I will never care about none of that because I ain't, I ain't, what I do don't got nothing to do with nobody else. If you go be blessed, shoot. Don't worry about what I'm over here doing. Shoot. Sure. And that's how I feel. Like, I understand some people be having those issues, like, where they really, really care about what their family members think about them being gay and living their life how they want to. And I never cared. I had about 10 family members of my own at my wedding. <laughs> Literally. Ten. Granted, my wife's family is my family, so none of that ever really mattered. We've been together a very, very long time, so. But, and that's just how I feel still. I ain't gonna lie. It was a point where that stuff did hurt me for a second. And then I thought about it like, dang, but don't nobody pay my bills? Hmm. If I was to die right now, who's going to be the one that's going to be hurt? My wife and my mama and them the people that support me. So other than that, nobody matters. Mm -mm. Guess who paid for my wedding? My wife. Nobody matters. Guess who pays my bills? My wife. Nobody matters. Sure. What we look like stressing ourselves because somebody don't like what we do on our own personal time. Mind your business. Go. That's how I feel. And then I got people that, even on my wedding video, y'all, <coughs> yeah, in my wedding video, <coughs> every few days I get somebody that says, oh, you're an abomination, oh, we all hate you because you do what you do on your own time, oh, you're going to go to hell, and guess what I do, block, delete, <laughs> And go be gay still. <laughs> and while they's probably trying to figure out if I blocked them or not. While they watch my whole video. Which is all that matters, you know.
Yeah, I'm getting full already. Mm -mm. I could never do that. Don't wipe them out, chocolates. Mm mm. I never took a thumbnail, and that's part of my problem. Who cares? See, never cared. That's my problem. <laughs> I still got so much food, y'all. Yeah. Well, over here. This really ain't much. But a couple shrimp or so. This is how you know I'm getting full. Let's see, you gotta go. But, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video or whatever. Uh, there's too much in the mouth. I think I overcooked the inside. Never skip egg day. My wife don't eat eggs so. though. Oh, and we're still doing the Q&A. Still doing the Q&A, so. I got a couple questions, but if you guys have any questions for me and my wife, I'm gonna actually get her to do a video with me. <laughs> Took me about two years, but hey. I'm just playing. She did a couple, but drop the questions below if you have any questions for us at all regarding anything. Of course, we are a married couple, honey. Did that. I'll drop my wedding video below as well so you guys could check that out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I truly appreciate everybody that's still, this is a gross, that's been watching my videos this entire time. I really, truly appreciate you guys. And I'm full. Peace.